Hello everyone, it's Ibrahim here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create this nice looking uh, circle here. You can see the shining effect and all that. So I'll just make this a quick video. So let's create a new document. And I won't bother of the width and height here since it's just a small circle. Just take a square here and let's leave this to white. I'm going to choose the oval el ellipse tool here and we'll create a new layer once you've done that make sure you have your shape the one which doesn't give you any parts the direct shape drawing tool this option selected once you've done that let's select any color for the foreground color and I'll just draw a nice round I'm holding my shift key to keep it proportion here once you've done that let's center this I'm going back to my move tool press on control a to select your stage here and let's align this vertically and horizontally in center press control d to deselect that back and once you've done that i'm going to make a nice gradient look in this so double click somewhere around here on your layers panel or you could just click on the fx tool here and select gradient overlay once you've done that Let's change the gradient to something different. For this, I won't be using the orange color. I'll use something like a purple. And change your style to gradial from linear so that you have a nice round gradial effect here. And I'm going to shift this reverse so that I get a light kind of spot in between. You can move this anywhere you'd like. So I'll keep it somewhere on the top. Once you've done that, let's try to adjust with the scale here okay and click on okay now let's create a nice outline of a purple linear effect here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on control and click on my circle here so I get a selection once I've done that I'll create a new layer and as I need just a border of this circle what I'm going to do I'm going to come back to my gradient tool here and shift my colors back to the same purple color and make sure you have linear selected here not radial and just click and drag something like that okay now let's select the reflected one here and do so we get two colors there we go okay once you've done that let's press on control d and i'm going back to my let's deselect that again let's go to select modify and contract selection this is going to contract your selection which you selected here so since I selected the circle here I'm going to make this around 3 pixels now you see that if I zoom in here you can see a bit of it is not selected so what I'm going to do is hold alt and click on my mask tool here if you just click on your mask tool what it basically does is it shows you the one you did, you just selected so I'm going to undo that hold on your alt key and click on your mask tool once you do that it doesn't show the area which is selected and rather it shows the other part so alt click on your mask tool you can see now we have uh, outline of this so now what I'm going to do is control T to transform and hold my shift key and just drag shift and your alt key and drag in a bit you can see that press on enter key and there you can see a nice shining effect there so now what I'm going to do is make another really bright white shine on the corner here so let's make another new layer make sure you have a brush tool selected and this is a really big one so just right click on your stage here once you have that selected reduce this hardness to completely 0% and I'm going to make the size somewhere around let's check that yeah 6 pixels would be fine okay now select your pen tool once you've done that make sure you select pen tool the first one okay then make sure you have your paths on just give a click on this area and drag straight up and let's come on this point here and drag straight make sure you just adjust it exactly according to the corners there once you've done that right click on your stage and click stroke path what it does is it gives you a path according to that it's going to draw a stroke so make sure in the tool you have brush selected and simulate pressure on so that it gives you two soft corners there you can see that now what I'm going to do is remove the path I don't really need it anymore so right click and delete path you can see that nice shine effect since it's, it looks kind of blurry because I'm zooming around 193% so let's go back to 100% press ctrl 1 for that shortcut 
I'm going to add a glow effect for that so I'm just going to move this a bit down and double click on this area here let's see this here click on auto glow and I'm going to change the blend mode to overlay you can see that nice shining effect there and um, reduce Reduce your opacity and increase the size a bit, not much, so that you can really see your glow there. Okay, once you've done that, you could even add a small shine on the bottom here. So let's do that. Control J to duplicate that same curve. Control T to transform. Let's turn this and let's size this way down. Enter to apply that. And you gotta keep this somewhere. Let's see, this looks really curved a lot. Oh. Let's zoom in here and control T and you just right click on this and click on skew it could kind of help you can see that gives you a nice adjustments there so once you're done press on enter key and one control one to zoom back you can see that gives you just a simple look you can even reduce the opacity if you really don't want that so bright okay once we're done that I'm gonna add a nice shine effect on this corner here so control click on your thumbnail of the circle here so you get your oval selected then you create a new layer and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the pen tool once you've done that let's click on this side here and make a curve once you've done that hold on your alt key and click on this point here and let's go all the way around to the other point alt click on the last point once you've done this selection here make sure we want the top part of the selection so right click on the stage and click on make a selection in this options here select subtract from selection and set the feather pixels to zero click on ok once you see that selection there make sure you are on the new layer let's go back to our gradient tool and select white transparent gradient and we'll keep our linear option selected here let's click on this point here and drag up let's do the other way of the reverse and once you have this nice linear effect there deselect that by pressing ctrl d and let's change the blending mode to soft light you can see this nice shining effect on this corner here and now we could even just write something on this so go back to your type tool here Make sure you have white selected and any font of your choice. Let's type on anything, for example. Let's type on KO. Make this around 50 pixels. Let's say 75. And let's center this text with the over here so to do that press on control and select on your circle selection here and click on the horizontal and vertical let's make this big by pressing control T and just size this a bit up there you go once you've done that you can add some more effects for your text tool here I'll just close this a bit by getting them close and you could just double click on your text tool for the effects here and give some inner shadow somewhere close to your purple adjust this there you go you can even add a reflection for that so let's add one control j on this text layer here so you get a copy you have to now control t and then let's turn this flip it vertical once you've done that hit on the enter key and hold your shift and your down arrow just bring it down a bit yeah there once you've done that let's click on the mask tool here and shift to your gradient tool and change the colors to black and white once you've done that let's click on the top part here and drag straight down and you can just press ctrl i and reduce the opacity to somewhere around 50 percent you can see that nice reflection there so i hope this is something interesting you've learned thank you for watching and see you next time